For business owners and investors that operate through a discretionary trust, um, also known as a family trust, there's been quite a significant change from the tax um, office in regards to what's known as Section 100A. Um, this concerns how the profits and distributions of those profits are handled at the end of each financial year. What they're looking to do is stop the age-old practice of being able to split the profits um, between family members with often mum and dad receiving part of it, but also maybe adult children receiving part of the profits um, whilst they're maybe studying at university and have no other income. So tax-wise, it has worked quite well. However, the tax office wants to see those adult children actually receiving the benefits of their portion of the profit. Um, so this is really important um, for all people that have discretionary trust to be aware of. Um, because there's a number of steps you can take to still achieve the tax effectiveness and stay within the new rules. So what we'll be doing here is as part of the annual tax planning service, we'll be looking at this. And also as part of preparing your trust distribution minutes, we'll also be looking at this. However, there's a number of steps you can take now um, to get ahead if you do have adult children um, that may not yet be in full employment. Um, we encourage you to reach out to us as there's a number of scenarios that may work um, quite well for you tax-wise and sit within the tax rules still.